Hello? Hello? Crystal. Don't ever answer my phone again. It was just a hang up. I want to share my life with you, but some things need to remain private. You scare me when you're like this. I'm sorry. I'm just under a lot of pressure these days. But that doesn't mean I don't love you. Okay? I'm just... I'm glad you're home. Where else would I be? Well, the other day, I didn't know where you were. Everybody was at the wedding. And you left without a word. You came back without a word. You were gone for a long time. And where'd you go? I was at a consult in Manhattan. I left a note. I didn't see it. Really? I should have called. You're right. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get so busy with work, I just don't see anything else. But I have all the time in the world to look now. Come here. Oh, son of a... <clears throat> Dr. Hayward? It's Gail. You wanted me to call if there was any news? Mr. Chandler and Ms. Dillon have just arrived. I'll be there as soon as I can. <laughs> Let me guess. An emergency. Yeah. See, now that's the reason why I don't want you answering my phones. <laughs> it could be complicated, okay? Is that clear? we spend. So in that article in the business section, seems Chandler Enterprises is going the way of the Titanic. Yeah. We'll recover. Well, if you need a loan to keep the lights on or food on the table for little A, you just let me know. We'll be fine. Good. So I can count on you both for a generous donation to Babe's wing, right? There'll be enough zeros to put us on top of that list. Babe would be happy to hear that. Arrogant. We just have to stay one step ahead of him, Dad. Not by donating six figures when we can't afford it. You keep your checkbook in your pocket until we discuss this. How was your exam? Fine. If it's any of your business. Speaking of our business, how's it going? Not here. Are you making progress with JR or all those stars in your eyes getting in the way? This kind of stuff takes time, you know. Yeah, well, you better not let it take too much longer. Or JR's going to hear things about you that he just doesn't want to hear. Uh, meet me at the casino later. It's a date. Hey, is, uh, Haywood bugging you? Just the usual. Will you be able to make it home okay? I've got to go sit in on the meeting, you know, for the Campbell's heart health benefit. Oh, okay, yeah, I have some errands to run. I'll see you soon. Dr. Hubbard? Dr. Hayward? So tell me, how is Amanda Dillon doing? You did examine Amanda, didn't you? Picture perfect first trimester. It's great to hear. Let me see the chart. Well, like you said, it's all very good. You are aware of what would happen to a doctor who altered documents or falsified reports, right? You'd probably have his license stripped, his career and his dignity, well, trashed. Then you'd boil him in oil. But lucky for me, I play by the rules. Here you are. Hey, Frankie. Crystal? The planning committee is going to get started without us if we don't hurry up. 
Keep up the good work, Doctor. I can't wait to show them my ideas. Oh, right. The committee loved your ideas. I knew I was right to recommend you to oversee this benefit. Ah, I am just so thrilled to contribute to such a good cause. And to honor our babe. She would be very proud of you. As I am. Hmm. Well, I hope I live up to your expectations. And babes. Oh, are you kidding me? Something tells me you're going to raise so much money for healthy hearts, you just might put me out of business. No. <laughs> I'd triple my contribution for that. Yeah. Just make sure that check doesn't bounce. I'll see you later. Where are you going? A consult. You want the name of the patient? <laughs> so, what do we have to celebrate? Aside from a very healthy pregnancy, Dr. Herbert tells me everything. Can we just get this over with? Sounds good. Let's get to it. So, what's the news? You and JR look very cozy at the hospital. I like that strategy. We'll never know what hit him. David, JR has been trying so hard to stay sober. Mm, it's very touching. I saw you at the wedding. Excuse me? I saw you outside the chapel in Connecticut. The day Greenlee died. You're hoping I was up to my neck in some nefarious deed so you can use it against me? You never. You haven't answered my question. Because it doesn't deserve answering. If you ever try anything like this again, you might just tick me off. And if that happens, JR just might find out the truth. Who do you think he's going to say once he finds out that this whole baby makes three world that you created for him happened because I paid you? A setup to take away his son. A sick setup. Which you agreed to. Now get on the ball, Amanda. I'm sick of repeating myself. I'm waiting for the right moment. Waiting is for losers. You create the right moment. You set up a situation that looks like little A is in danger. And you make it look like J.R. did it. Preferably, he'll be drunk off his ass. You make it sound so easy. It is. J.R. is a negligent, incompetent imbecile who doesn't deserve to be a father. Aren't you forgetting one little fact? Adam will never let you have custody of little A. Ever. Mm. Well, you don't have to worry about Adam. I have plans for him. Pretty soon he'll be out of the picture altogether.